Hello, in today's class, the chapter that we will be learning is binary data representation part one. It has bit, bytes, and word. Bits, byte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte, and some useful number systems that are used by computer. Bit, byte, and word. Bit is the smallest unit of information in which data is stored. Byte. It's a group of eight bits. Word. It's a number of bits which can be processed by a computer in a single step or in a single instance. You might have heard the term 32-bit computer, 64-bit computer. So what is it? It's a computer's capacity to process that much bit information in the same instance. Suppose if your computer is of 64-bit, then it can process 64-bit information in the same step. Bits, bytes, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. Here, yeah. one bit makes a binary digit. Four bits make a number. Eight bits make a byte. One thousand and twenty-four bytes make a kilobyte. Here, yeah. one thing must be noticed, and this kind of conversion from centimeter to meter, from milliliter to liter, right? Uh, usually, the hundred, one thousand, this kind of round. Figures are used, but here no round figure is used. 1024 bytes make a kilobyte, 1024 kilobytes make a megabyte, 1024 megabyte make a gigabyte, and 1024 gigabytes make a terabyte. The order is bit, nibble, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. The number systems that are used by computer. Includes binary number system, decimal number system, octal number system, and hexadecimal number system. Now, we will learn the basic makeup of all these number system, and for that we will do a practical session. Yeah. The first one that was in that list was binary number system, but we will learn the decimal number system first as it is the most familiar number system to us. The name might not be familiar, but yes, this number system is decimal. Okay. The set of this decimal number system includes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the base for this number system is 10. You know, this decimal number system includes much more than 9. It includes 10 to 20 to 30 to 100 to 1000 to 10,000, 1 lakh to 10 lakh, and so on. But a computer uses only this much numbers. So now you know this decimal number system we use in basic calculations in mathematics, right? So that's why it's the most familiar with us. Here, yeah. to learn the basic makeup of decimal system, we will take a number that is 26 and the base is 10. Here, it, it indicates that it's a decimal number. Now, I'll write this 2 and 6 a bit further away. 6. 6 into 10 raised to 0. And here, 2, ra 2 into 10 raised to 1. Now, we will add these numbers for that 10 raised to 0 what it would be it could be 1 and 1 into 6 that is 6 now 10 raised to 1 that is 10 into 2 that is 20 now we will add these numbers like i said before 20 plus 6 that will give us 26 so this is how the decimal number are made now the next number system that we will learn is binary number system. For that, I will need a clean board. So, control A and delete. Now, the binary number system 
in binary number system the name that is binary itself indicates by that means two okay this set of this binary number system includes only two number that is one and two and the base for this system is two obviously as the name indicates for that we will take an example we will take a binary number and then convert it into a decimal number the binary number that we will be taking is 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 here the 2 indicates that its base is 2 and it's a binary number now we will convert it into a decimal number for that I'll write this down a bit further away from each other 1 1 and 0 now this 0 that is 0 into 2 raised to 0 here in decimal number the base was 10 here the base is 2 the process is very similar the only small change is in the base now the next one that is 1 into 2 raised to 1 again 1 into 2 raised to 2 Again, 0 into 2 raised to 3, 0 into 2 raised to 4, now 1 into 2 raised to 5 and last that is 1 into 2 raised to 6. Here yeah. we have to add all these numbers. Now notice the pattern, right? By each number on the right side no actually on left side it is increasing by the power of 2 okay now 2 raised to 0 that will give us 1 and 1 into 0 0 so but you know the basic multiplication rule whichever number that you are multiplying with 0 the answer will always be 0 so for all this number where 0 is there, we can write 0 directly there, okay? Now, for here, 2 raised to 1, that is 2, into 1, that is 2. We have to add all this number, remember? 2 raised to 2, that, that is 4, into 1, that is 4, plus 0 into 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 3 gives us 8, but you don't need to do that because it's 0 here. So write down 0 directly. Same way here it's multiplied by 0. So 0 plus 2 raised to 5. That would give us 32 into 1. So it will be always 32 plus oh sorry 0 here. See I made a mistake. But please you don't make a mistake. Now 0 into 2 raised to 6. So it will obviously be 0. We have to add all this number 32 plus 4 that is 36 plus 2 that is 38. So our answer is 38. Yeah. So this binary number when converted into decimal gives us 38. Now the next number system that we will be learning is the octal number system. The third one, octal. Uh, in this octal number system, set the numbers that are included as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And the base is 8. Yeah. We will take an octal number that is 1, 2, 4, 0, 3. And the base is 8, obviously, as it's an octal number. Now, we will convert this number into the decimal number. The procedure is similar 
to that binary one. Only the small difference is in the base. Here we will take base as 8. Now 1, 2, 4, 0 and 3. Here 3 into 8 raised to 0. Here 0 into 8 raised to 1. But it's zero, 0 here so you can directly write down 0. Now for 4, 4 into 8 raised to 2 or 2, 2 into 8 raised to 3 and for 1, 1 into 8 raised to 4. We have to add all those numbers for that 8 raised to 0 it would give us 1 and 1 into 3 it will give us 3 plus it's 0 so obviously 0 here plus 8 raised to 2 that is 64 and 64 that is 64 into 4 so that would give us 256 plus 8 raised to 3 that would be 512 into 2 for this kind of calculation you can use your calculator and the 512 into 2 would be 1024 now and 8 raised to 4 would give us 4096 into 1 is obviously 4096 now we have to add all this number and the answer would be 5379 you must check this answer by yourself right so for this octal number we have got this decimal number that is 5379 so this is how the octal number system works which has 8 as a base now the last number system that is hexadecimal or that I cleaned the board now the last that is hexadecimal you know this way hexadecimal number system is a bit different than other others in terms of the set of this hexadecimal number system which includes 0, 1, 2 to 9 0 to 9 number and then a, B, C, D, E, and F. So here, this A, B, C, D, E, F, what it indicates and why they are included in this set? Well, for that I will take an example. Suppose this is an hexadecimal number that is 2, 4, 1, 1, 0, and 5 base is 16 because the base for this hexadecimal number system is 16 okay now here uh, look at this number that is 1 if this is 1 or 11 what should I take that's why here instead of 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 this a to f are included respectively here it is 1 or it's 10 right we can't get the right answer for this question that's why this e to f are included where a indicates 10 same with b indicates 11 c indicates 12 d indicates 13 e indicates 14 and f indicates 15 so basically there are 0 to 15 numbers are included in hexadecimal set but 10 to 15 are encoded in A to F. Now, to understand this one, make up, we will take an example. For that, I will need some space. Delete this one. The example that I would take is. And 
answer that is F B four zero A and base as sixteen. Now we will convert this number into a decimal number. Okay, here F indicates fifteen. So number would be fifteen. B indicates eleven. Eleven. Four indicates four itself. Zero. And A indicates ten. Again, the same procedure for the calculation. You just have to change the base that is sixteen here. For ten, ten into sixteen base to zero. For zero, that is zero into sixteen base to one. You can directly write zero, right? Now for four, four into sixteen base to two. For eleven, eleven into sixteen base to three. For fifteen, fifteen into Sixteen raised to four. Now we have to add all these numbers. Now sixteen raised to zero one and one into zero that is ten. Now sixteen raised to one into zero obviously zero plus zero plus. Now sixteen raised to two that would be two fifty six into four. So the answer would be one zero two four. Now plus sixteen raised to three, that would be four zero nine six into eleven. So it will give us four five zero five six. You can do this calculation in your calculator. Now plus. That is sixteen raised to four. That will give us six five five three six into fifteen. Sorry, into fifteen. Now, and this one would give us nine eight three zero four zero. This numbers would be added, and the answer that we would get is one zero two nine one three zero, and base as ten because we have converted this hexadecimal number into a decimal number. So this is the answer for this hexadecimal number. Now. We have learned the basic makeup of all this number system. So now we will get back to the basics. A quick recap for what we have done in our practical session. That is a binary system which has base as ten, and the set of it includes zero and one. In octal, the base is eight, and these in the set includes zero to seven. In decimal, the base is ten. And this set includes zero to nine, and in hexadecimal, in which the base is sixteen, which includes zero to nine and a to f. Here, binary and octal number are you know that would be pretty clear in your mind. But when, but if decimal and hexadecimal number are not clear in your mind, then Even octal number can be a bit confusing, so for that there is a trick to remember that you know octopus octopus has eight legs, so that's why octal number has given the base as eight. That's how you can remember this. And in hexadecimal, you know hexa from hexa you have to remember the hexagon. Hexagon has six sides. And decimal, decimal obviously indicates ten. So ten plus six, that is sixteen. So that's how you can remember the octal and hexadecimal. Now we will learn 
the binary addition, binary subtraction, binary multiplication, and uh, the arithmetic of rational numbers in next session. Thank you.